Hey everybody, I want to do a quick video to see if I can go through all of the functions of this high-tech X1AC um, lithium polymer battery charger, uh, multi-charger. Um, this uh, charger, the, the functions on it are going to be very similar to the IMAX B6 depending on what model you get. I'm going to go ahead and dive in. You see that I've got a 3-cell battery hooked up and I've got the balancing plug plugged into the balancing port on this charger. When you first start it up, you're going to see um, this screen is the user set program screen. The first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and just show you how to charge this battery. Um, I press the uh, battery type button once and the first one is lithium polymer battery. I'm going to press enter. I'm going to press enter again and you can change your amperage. Um, got that set correctly and you can change the number of cells, three cell, um, that's set correctly. I'm gonna press the enter button again and then you just hold down the enter button and it's gonna ask you if that's all correct. You're gonna press enter and it's gonna start charging. So a few things you can do right here. You can actually press the enter button, change your amperage up or down if you'd like to do that. And then press enter, it should go back. If you plus, press the plus button, you can see the different cell voltages and it just goes back to the main screen. If you press the minus button you can see this, these different um, preset things in voltage, capacity cutoff, that's um, the in, the, I'm sorry, the in voltage is maximum that it'll charge this battery, this three cell battery. Capacity cutoff of course is just a safety, it'll cut off when it gets there. Um, let's see, safety timer will cut off if it goes for too long. Temperature, we don't have a temperature probe set up. All right, I'm gonna go back out. I'm gonna cancel that charge. Go back out to the main screen. See, I'm gonna show you um, the program flow chart. What it's got is this box. So what you can do, you can uh, this I believe you hold down the enter button and press the 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 increase button and it'll actually change the these different lithium battery types so you have to do this if you want to um, charge different battery packs down here so whatever you choose right here is automatically gonna come up um, just like of course we did the example a second ago where the lithium polymer battery was already in there alright so we're at the main screen here I'm gonna press the enter button uh, lithium type, gonna press the enter button again. And you can change this. You go to uh, lithium ion, lithium polar, lithium high voltage, lithium iron. Um, gonna leave it at lithium polymer and press the enter key again to enter. And then you can cycle through these different ones. Check time. That is the check time that it checks for low voltage. So if you're having trouble with it automatically with the charger timing out with a really low battery, you might have to increase that time. Uh, nickel metal hydride sensitivity, that's just the maximum that it'll charge nickel metal hydride. Same with NICAD. Um, the uh, cutoff temperature, we don't have a temperature probe set up. Uh, waste time has to do when you're cycle charging a battery. Um, safety timer, of course, it'll just shut off if it charges for too long. Capacity cut off, it'll shut off if it um, charges a battery too much, 4,000 milliamp hours. And then, of course, just the sound. Got a low voltage cut off with the power cord going in. And that's it. It goes back to the start. Going to exit out of that. All right, so we've gone through, I've done a lithium polar battery charge where I've gone through this and uh, we, we hit balance, we did the balance charge and I've also shown you the user settings where you can go through, you check the lith, you can change the lithium battery type and then you can go through the different settings. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go back through this lithium polymer battery charge, but instead of charging the battery, I'm just going to show you these different screens that you get when you when you go through. So, I've got, I've got lithium polymer battery. I'm going to hit enter. You can cycle through. That's a balance charge. That's what we just we did to start off. There's the fast charge. 
um, that doesn't check as closely it just charges it real fast doesn't balance it out or anything may not give you the the maximum capacity though storage that will actually discharge your battery down to a preset voltage forgot what it is exactly that's good for storing batteries for more than a few days and you can discharge that's not recommended at all unless you're just ready to throw away a battery you can discharge it before you uh, dispose of it um, the charge from what I understand it does not use the balance plug so um, if you use that you're not taking advantage of this uh, balancing charger and, but uh, sometimes you might use that on a battery pack that does not have a balancing plug you can use the regular charge and just goes back to the start. I'm going to exit back out to the main menu again. Alright, so what I've done is I've taken you through lithium battery balance charge. I've taken you through the user settings and I've taken you through the program select lithium polymer where you can cycle through the different um, charge. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take you down here. I'll show you the uh, nickel metal hydride charge. Alright, so we're back here at the main screen. I'm going to take you to the program select Nickel Metal Hydride. I'm going to press the enter button, take you through that. Um, so the first thing, you can press the enter key and change your amperage up or down. This is the current that it will charge at. And also, what you can do, you can press the plus and the minus button at the same time while the current is flashing. And that will change the charge to auto. What the auto does actually it'll uh, increase and decrease the current um, while it's charging but uh, this is the current limit so it will not go over whatever is set as the current limit. I'm going to press the enter button again. If you press the increase and decrease button you can discharge and you can also cycle the nickel metal hydride. That's for charging and discharging which is supposed to I guess refurbish an old nickel metal hydride battery I'm gonna go back out to the main screen now start with the user set program um, we've gone through most of these the only other one is uh, the other ones are for a NICAD battery which is very similar to nickel metal hydride and there's also the lead acid battery which is pretty straightforward you can um, change your amperage and you can also change the voltage and you can also discharge the lead acid battery and that's it there's also the, ne the next thing I'm going to take you through is the save data press the enter button um, right now it's selecting one, 1 through 5 these are the different program files I guess you could say that are set up um, I'm gonna show you this is the file that I have set up for this this particular battery that that we're looking at number three and you can set I've got it set up as a light lithium polymer battery um, 11 volts uh, 3 cell 1000 milliamp hour I'm gonna hold down the start button and this is where you can change the amperage that it will charge at and you can also change um, the settings for just a regular charge, balance charge, fast charge, storage of course and discharge you can see that they're right now they're all set is the same thing if I hold down the enter button it will save that program so now that you've got it saved what you can do is you can go to the load load data I'm going to press the enter button. I'm going to go to the number three. That's where we have that saved. I'm going to hold down the enter button and it's asking me what kind of charge that I'd like to do. If you'd like to do say a balance charge, um, select that. I'm going to hold down the enter button and it's going to load that program. This is for a balance charge. That's what we want to do here so I'm going to hold down the enter key again and it's going to take you to the charge. It's asking me to confirm that it's a three cell and it's going to start charging. I hope this video helped you. Please don't forget to like this video so you can go back to it later. Thanks. If you feel like this video helped you out, please help me by contributing to my project fund. Thanks.